Hey guys, this is Amec. I'm not quite sure. I think this is part 29. Could easily be wrong. Who knows? <laughs> um, cool. Whoa, come on. That was weird. The mouse was getting funky. South Cath, South Cath language kind of freaks me out sometimes. What do you want, bro? Yikukuno no babule rajikun. Tonghit kun chunching. Ne boboje mata de punage. Dulpi kikuana. Runda di hotonga kun hunga bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Tonking ba no no tek. Tok nincha tu kun de mule rabes. Takum just stuck Mickey Grabble Boko Kachichu Itabo Dunga Dolbonk. Oh, this must be a set event on whatever planet you go to after you learn of it. Nice. Nice. Mule Slimo Pododara Nanga Kubist Mule Rabes Ke Puna Bunanai Tatu Chinba Mule Ratawana Tochi Gratu Loda Pograshi on Neon Compa Chin Tongo Mochuba. Loda Nita Kun, Ita Patisa Batua, Kachatu Tonga, Bagra Shakum Tijaka Um, Chubakaha, Chopa, Runda di Hotonga Kun Hunga B, Wanakun Ta Tis Jupunko Kokibak Baka, Ching Palakuya Bejus, Chikata na Patoga Ya, Hulki Koko, Shakji Locha Wana Wama. Kava volpa mulji kum mana man atota haki ju krata pola shui tonga tong tong hai tuam jiji jung lumpa nita poe tiki tu dolpa da bongwale ka chi kun ida hodonga i king kuno tong abu sha umina wonga kun bis kava dumpa ku palia mukapata Buda na tolpa da bongwale gato na gugu chuchut kabadum ku pilio. We tam tong. Interesting. Sazirus in the footprints deep in water. Let me actually. I'm gonna run to Corbon real quick before I forget that exists. I'm curious. I don't know that I've ever done that. I don't know what he's going to sell me. That's creepy. God dang it. That they felt the need to do that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm curious what kind of. I'm sure it's gonna be crap. Like, it's probably not gonna be that good. You know, I can't imagine them selling anything actually, like, worth having, really. So he's in the cantina, so that's not too fun. Travel thing. I usually. Um, <laughs> By the time you're on Dantooine, you couldn't possibly have that much money. Like the like they have stuff for ten thousand dollars and more, or galactic credits. <laughs> um, so I guess they assume you come back, but then even for that, your time window is very limited because um, there's a certain point in the game, obviously, where they destroy Dantooine. So it's like you have to. Yeah, it's it's an interesting time window. What's going on now? Who this? Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? 
short fellow, bald, I've been looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's what? uncle. Davin? Davin Coachers? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Pinto? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old time. I see that tub. guy in the background where his body disappeared dead, and his head man. slowly I disappeared. I crashed that. somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just bet. Damn, old man. You look exactly pickle the same well. as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. What are you, deaf? His name's Davin, old friend from my wanderer days. By the by, the of course, old man. Oh, w wait, I if you've been traveling in this oh, sector, Oh, he's just telling me to go back to Mon uh, Menon. Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Milan for murder. Yeah, I've never That's done that mission before. I know. Nalora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunray would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. I'd appreciate that. Sunray's an old friend. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. Be safe, old friend. Interesting. Okay, so we sit in the canteen, uh, which... It's not this one, I think it's that place up ahead a bit. Although, he said Rodian, let me talk to him real quick. Oh, actually, no, actually, I know what they're talking about. There's a Rodian in the cantina. yourself a fast little ship. <laughs> I forgot what engine... Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to... You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that right up. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, Ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair. <laughs> And Coruscant was a small town with a will. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, I definitely haven't. but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too, or this could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally, 
Grant has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in Jesus and starts Christ. bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next <laughs> thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly and the Dimians never quite recover. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. <laughs> I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, now that's the ingratitude of you. I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No. That's really funny. No, it's all like that. me, me, me. But anyway, go on. My throat is... <laughs> I really liked that story. Okay. From my transactants? Oh my god, they have a misspelled word. Wow. It's not bad, actually. Oh my god. I might actually get that. That's devastating. Wow. Okay, they actually have some good stuff. Constitution plus four? Oh man. Okay, let me see what I can sell. Although in the past, not good at selling, so we'll see. I I'm at a point now that now that we're getting closer to the end of the game, we're not going to find like any new companions, so I'm, I feel a little more comfortable. I'm not going to sell. Actually, no, I will. I'll, I'll sell these. Sell one of those. I'll save the advanced ones. Shield level one. We don't need. Uh, don't need two probes. Don't need two of those. And actually, we have a type three. So why do we have the lower types? Everything type one basically is gone. And honestly, I probably won't use the droids the rest of the game, so it's not like that even matters. Oh, I'm so... Mm, I might... Okay, I'm gonna sell them all. I haven't used a single one all game, I can sell them. <laughs> even though it kills me inside. Not like it's that much money, but... I really just don't need them. Okay, all these stupid journals. These sell duplicates. Don't need stealth. Wow, these shields are worth good money. I don't even use them. I'm sure the game would be drastically different if I ever actually made use of all these shields and crap. But I really just don't care about them. I think this is the first time I've ever actually sold grenades or uh, <laughs> sold stuff in this game. Cause I usually suck. Whoa! Big money's big money's. Actually, honestly, I could sell that too. These bigger guns I can definitely sell because the only person that uses them um, has a better one, so. Wow. 
ever give someone a yellow lightsaber. <laughs> I promise you. Although, I might give I might give Joe Lee a purple lightsaber, just because then he can be Mace Windu for me. Solari. The shadow who appear in spirit can wield the. I don't know that I'm gonna have anybody that can use that, but I'll hold it just because it is rare. All the named ones like these I'll probably hold on to a bit more, but I don't need duplicates basically. Yeah, the color ones I don't need at this point in the game. And honestly, even all of these stupid lightsabers, I really don't need extras. I'll hold on to... I'll definitely hold that one. That one's beefed. But actually, I can get rid of that too. I'll hold... Actually, I don't need that one either. I'll hold that one. In case I ever want to go back to lightsabers, I'll just go double bladed. But I honestly, I doubt I'll do that. Craft dire sword and get gone. <laughs> Stun baton. I've carried it all game and never used it everywhere. Cool. I have extra. Mm, nobody can use that. Nord. Love it, but honestly, eh. it's really useful, but it, considering I'm not going to put it on Jolie because me and Jolie need ropes, so our force powers can be working. Um, and then it would be good on Candorus, but I really like him wearing the Mandalore and stuff because that's his, you know, that's his, his thing. Keep one of those. Davik, get gone, bro. Honestly, a lot of these I could just dip, dip in dots, you know, to get rid of them. Darth Brandon. Keep some of these. I want to keep the sand people. Oh, it's not worth anything, anyways. Um, screw these. I don't even know what they're good for. Keep these for robot. Alright, I think I have enough money. What was I even going to buy? I actually don't really remember. Uh, man, I don't like that it shoves all of my stuff in the way. It's like, can you not want to find what I was actually looking for? Alright, here we go. So, okay, so I definitely want this, but can I afford this and the other thing that was useful? Constitution plus four. What was I gonna get? Was it the Constitution thing? I think it was. Actually, I think I can afford both of those. Okay. So, Constitution plus four. Fifteen thou. Oh, it was this. Eleven thousand. How far am I from it? Not too bad. Is there anything else I can sell? These aren't really worth money, monies.
this is hard. <laughs> All of these are like useful for one like reason or another. Um, well, I can get rid of these now. any plans of using the robots. Oh my god, I'm almost there. Okay. What can I get rid of? Done. Is that enough? Alright, now to make my guy insanely powerful, <laughs> basically. Um, plus constitution. So should I do this on my guy? I might use that on Jolie, because... Although, that would help my guy out a lot. Wait a minute. I'm using this, but I'm not using lightsabers. Screw that. I'll make myself better. On, it would be better on Jolie, but... Why do I feel like I'm missing something? So I got... So I did that. So I got... Uh, Get anything in here. Sure. Right. Hmm. Pretty sure that was everything. Okay. Cool. So my guy is a lot more powerful. So now um, swords will be better. So now that my strength is higher, plus five. Because, like, yeah. It's almost like a normal stat now. So I should still be able to do some melee damage better now. Which might come in handy. Alright. Let's just... Alright, let's run back to my ship, and then we will be on our way. Oh, something I was saying in the last part that I think I got distracted and finished my thought on, um, is basically something I... Because, I'm not going to lie, th th there's going to be a drastic difference in the next game, because uh, I have not put as much like detailed time into that game. So there's going to be tons of missions I've missed. I'm pretty confident. Um, I haven't played it nearly as many times as this one. And then on top of that, uh, there's a huge function of the game that I never really made use of. Like, for instance, you actually have control over your companions a bit more in that one, where, like, you can talk to them and sway them towards the dark side. If I remember right, um, I believe you can. I believe you can kind of sway them towards the dark side. And then, um, but definitely you can make pretty much all of your teammates Jedi's at some point. Um, if you put the time in, and I will. Because I think it'd be really cool to just have a team of, like, crazy Jedi's. Some of them, like, just super, um, just lightsaber-powered people. And then the rest, uh, just, um, uh, what's it called? Um, beneath. Incoming fire! We're having to do it. We can do this every time. Uh, so not that I didn't mind this. I didn't realize there was radar this whole time. Got him. Radar. Alright, so let's get back out there. Let's continue on with Manin. Manin, Manin, 
Men in the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. You've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Onder and Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. To bed! I'm old and tired, you know. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. So I could. But not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was whole enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I, in fact... Everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another yeah, to make so you sick. Have, have the dog put down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's really messed up. No, I'm just gonna have to uh, wrestle and fight him to the death. Um, but um, but um. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can't be all bad. Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around. Nonsense. If I ever refused to help you when you asked, how confused can one person be anyway? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, uh, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? To you. Alright, <laughs> that was great. Does it really have to do that every time? that apart right there. Oh, wow. 
another good yawn and stretch. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye-bye.